Welcome back to another episode of The Rogue Show brought to you by Tabletop Nerds. Since we have been a little bit delayed with filming because we had some stuff going on at the office, we are actually doing a two for one filming today. We have both the October and the September Dungeon Crate boxes to open with you guys. I have a feeling that some of the things in these are gonna be a lot of fun and really cool. Nice. I mean, come on, everything D&D related is cool. We are going to start with the August box. Let's go ahead and get that cracked open. I'm learning. I cut away from myself this time, guys, so no angry comments or messages, please. I got my logo tissue paper back this time around. Lots of noise, lots of noise. No more noise. Ooh. I have got a golden bag of goodies. Let's find out what's in this golden bag. Pretty sure that's a Chippendale dancer's bucket list. This is a family friendly show. First thing in here, ooh, I got a metal dice, little six sided die. Let's see how chunky it is. Sorry, sound guy. It's pretty chunky. Norse Foundry. I think we know what might be in this box or what the theme might be. And it's little tiny like resin cast dwarf that is going to drive me nuts to put together, but I really want to do it because the detail in the ax and in his beard and clothing is superb. And you have lots of options. So we have the one guy here, it's kind of hard to see. We'll throw up some pictures later. We have the one main body, and then we have all these different arm versions where he has a little axe, a battle axe, you can put a bow or a sword on him. Looks like a staff. You can give him a shield. So we'll get some close-ups of this. It looks really cool. Norse Foundry, I'm doing good work here. So in the last box we opened that we filmed, we got these little character cards. They're laminated so you can wipe them off. Dry waste markers, good things for all kinds of tabletop games. But we got another one of these cards, and I have to say, I really like them. I think they're great for doing any kind of tabletop gaming. I get a little chest. What's in the little chest? Let me open this up. What do we get? What do we get? <gasps> crystals! I got crystals! Yay, I got some dwarven treasure. It's the Eye of the Mountain, guys. I got the Eye of the Mountain. And it looks like we got some more bookmarks slash uh, bridges for your terrain. Let's see what all we have here. If I can, apparently my fingers don't want to work today, guys. Corgi paws. Corgi paws are not good for opening plastic. Oh, we got three of them this time. So one's a map, an elven tree druid looking thing, and a dice collage. I got Dwarven coins! I got metal cast Dwarven coins. So we've got a little tiny one, and they're they're really nice. They're really weighted well, so like they feel good when you're holding them. And guess what? I got a little golden bag to put my tips in. My little Dwarven tips. And they are made by, and they have their website. They apparently make a full range of all kinds of coins that you can use for your tabletop, RPG, any kind of games, or if you just want some cool props. So you can go to campaigncoins.com. We got our Dunder Crate sticker. We got some barrels. Cause you know, dwarves like to drink. They like their beer. They like their mead. So we got some barrels. And another one of the character cards. So we've also been getting a lot of the Reaper models, and this Reaper model looks like he is a, he's Klaus Copperthumb. He's a dwarf thief. So he looks pretty cool. All right, let's see what we got here. So for their campaign that they do in every box, we've got some Material Mania, Work to Death, Adamant Altercation, and the maps that go with those particular things. And then we've got some cool Dwarven shields on one side, along with the Shield of Barkos and Fireforge Ring and Key. Overall, I think I really love how cohesive this theme was, where we got Dwarven coins, we got a couple of different versions of Dwarven models, we got the beer barrels, 
And then we have the campaign that is heavily dwarven themed. Like this, this was pretty solid for the August box. Get all of this out of the way and we'll get to September's box. Leave my crystals out here with my little dwarven um, sorceress. That's right, she was the sorceress from the first box we opened. I finally got her all painted. So she's gonna chill with the crystals because she likes materia and all that. All right, now we're on to September's box. Let's get you open and I'll stab myself in the face. That would be nice. No tissue paper in this one. I don't get to throw stuff this time. All right, so I gotta put this away because that's the cheat sheet. Ooh, looks like we got some cool things in here. First thing out of the box, pencil. <laughs> it got tangled up in what I was initially trying to pull out. Oh, this is really cool, guys. So this is also made by Norse Foundry. And if you take a close look at the top of it near the eraser, it's a six-sided die. You can roll the pencil for your roll and whatever it stops on, I rolled a one, I whiffed. Next thing is this very nice lanyard that has all the polyhedral dye on it and it's blue, which is my favorite color. Send me all the blue stuff you want, I'm down. I mean, I know it looks like I might like pink quite a bit, but my heart is definitely in the blue tones. I'm excited, I will definitely be using this. We have trade shows and conventions coming up that I'm going to be rocking that. The next thing is squishy. <laughs> it's a squishy ball. I'm definitely gonna have to probably look at the cheat sheet for this to know exactly what it is, but it feels like a stress ball. Interesting. Okay, so it's got a little open mouth here and it's a little skull and it comes with sticky goo. Oh, you suck up the sticky glue, goo with the mouth. I'm not gonna do that right now, guys. We'll do a separate video. We'll do an ASMR video for that one. That's a little, <laughs> that's a little strange, but very cool. It is something that I'm probably gonna fidget with for weeks on end. And our Reaper model in this one is a troll whose head is disembodied, but there's his head and there's his creepy body. So I think it looks to me like a mountain troll. I don't know, could be a rock troll, but I'm gonna stick with mountain troll. <laughs> so whenever anything dies or anything gets spilled, it leaves a splat. So we have splat tokens. And these splats are from Jord of Advent Lord of Adventures. Y'all, I can't read. <laughs> But that definitely says Lord of Adventures. I thought it was a J, but I'm, I was wrong. Lord of Adventures. Battle splats. Mark your goo as you go. That's what it says. That's what it said. That's what it said. We also have some NPC heroes and villains cards so that you can, from Creature Creations. Friend of the show, Creature Creations. I love you guys, Curations. Yep, we got our I Igor, Igor, Igor the Igor. Gary. Gary. Gary the holder. So I haven't actually used these, so I'm not as familiar with them, but what I believe is these are just NPCs like you would find in any video game that just kind of are there, that you can add flavor to your uh, scenario or whatever's going on. So I think this is a really cool idea. I like that you can just have like, Hey, I don't have to come up with any kind of city dwellers or random people. I'll just pick a card and that's the person you're gonna be going and talking to at the bar tonight. Oh, looks like we got another huge map in this one like we did a couple boxes ago. So here's the big map, part of the Titan Grave. Okay, and it looks almost like you're going through either the chest cavity of a dragon or these really weird, or the mouth of a dragon with these like teeth. All right, and we got some more art cards. This one is the Life Spark Talisman. And then this creepy guy is the Corruptor, which I bet is what the troll is supposed to go with. Cause the picture kind of looks kind of trolly. So I think that this is supposed to be this guy. We got another, it's the storybook for the campaign that they've put in. And I got another little tiny Dungeon Master screen. I love these DM screens, they are amazing. You can just like pin them in your other one and you just follow along, but it like has everything you need in it. It is great. 
And that is about it for this one as well. So I think between the two, the better box just as a cohesive theme was this one, which is the August box, just because again, like I said, the theme was cohesive throughout, like all the little extras, the models, the coins, everything was 100% Dwarven themed. Whereas this one, it kind of gives you a whole scenario in one with between the map, the cards for your NPCs and the storybooks. Overall, this box has been very good about keeping everything on point, on theme, and everything's been pretty unique and interesting across the board. I cannot wait to see what we're gonna have for our next box in October. Thank you again, guys, for joining us. Please don't forget to hit that like button and notification bell and leave any kind of comments down below and let us know what else you would like to see on the channel. Have a great day.